Today we are opening packs from 2004 and before. What's up guys, we're back with another old school opening. Almost every pack from this video is from 2004 or before. It's going to be pretty awesome, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards. We have an Xerian Universe from the Collector Tin and a Gate Guardian Japanese print. These are both really awesome. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite pack or card from the video. In this video, we have, I think, six first edition Ancient Sanctuary. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's the 11th set ever made. Then we have one Rise of Destiny first edition. We have four first edition. These are Hobby Solo Duelist, I believe. Let's check this out. Yeah, 97. So we could potentially pull a Horus Ultimate Rare if that happens. Like, we will lose it. <laughs> Then we have some number, I believe 12, Flaming Eternity. You guys know I love this set, so I'm really excited about these. And then we have a few special editions. We have a Rise of Destiny, so a couple more of those packs. These are first edition in the special edition, which is really cool. And then a couple, these are not from 2004. These are Duelist Pack special editions. A little bit newer, but still pretty old. Let's start off this video with a Rise of Destiny first edition pack. Let's see if we can pull Ultimate Rare Dekoichi. I mean, Creator is in here. We've got the perfect Machine King. There's so many really cool cards. Let's see if we can pull me back to square one. We have Mirage Knight, Raging Flame Sprite, Zing Zin Hu. This card was actually really good in Duel Links early on. And Chain Burst Rare. We got the Moki Moki King. Cool. Fu Rin Kazan, Eagle Eye, and Malice Dispersion. First pack had not much, but now we have Flaming Eternity. Guys, if we pull the Sacred Phoenix, even if it's an Ultra, it's it's unlimited, but who cares? Ultimate Rare would be insane. There's so many awesome Ultimate Rares in here. Hopefully, we can pull one of them. I think Phoenix Wing Wind Blast is a retail ulti, which is really cool. So, uh, e even if this is a retail pack, we could get it. Whirlwind Prodigy, we've got Elemental Burst and Meteor of Destruction. That's like one of the worst uh, options. Space Mambo in Release Restraint. Very cool. Let's go into a Duelist Pack Special Edition. I'd probably say one of the least exciting. This, this was also a little bit like, I think it got like wet or something at some point, the outside of it. So not the best one to keep sealed. So this is the perfect thing to open. Inside we have the Block Man promo, and then we have a few packs. I don't know. It's actually a lot of packs because the Duelist Packs have like usually more. All right. The Block Man looks to be in pretty good condition. Very cool. I mean, this card looks nice. It's just Legos. I mean, Legos are very nostalgic. I mean, who didn't play Legos back in the day? Those are pretty cool. Duelist pack, Chaz Princeton. Let's see what we can get out of here. Can we pull something good from Chaz? I guess Arm Dragon level 10. Is that is that in here? The original print? Ojama Yellow, Chthonian. The Grave of Enkindling, super rare. We got V Tiger Jet and Chthonian Palmer. Very nice. That's a super rare. Okay, cool. Super rare. That's like our first real pull of the video. Let's try a Jaden. Is uh is this the one that has this is Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki? Okay. Is this the one that has Card Trooper? I can't remember. I think it might be. Let's see. We have Elemental Hero Avian. Transcendent Wings. Bubble Blaster. Okay, we got a pretty cool one. They have all these equip spells for the Elemental Heroes, which are like really terrible, but they're very funny and just cool. The Bubble Blaster for the Bubble Man. I mean, as if you would actually use that, but it's pretty funny. Chaz. See what you got, Chaz. Chaz it up. Chaz it up. Can we Chaz it up enough to get Arm Dragon level 10? I've never pulled that, so that'd be cool. Chthonian Blast. Z Metal Tank. V. W, Tiger Catapult. I mean, that name is missing a lot of stuff. What's going on there? Is this one of the ones where it has like something else printed into it? Or is this just missing random things? You guys are going to have to let me know. Is there actually another name in there? I feel like there is. I don't know. You guys let me know. Like, is there like, an another name that was printed onto there? And that's why it was messed up like that? I'm not sure. I'm going to put it to the side just in case. Jaden Yuki. Here we go. Let's go. Jaden... Do these give us, like, a card list? A reinforcement of the army is on there. It doesn't. Okay. Bubble Shuffle. Featherwind, Polly, and Clayman. Man, Elemental Heroes. They're so cool. Too bad, like, they were bad for so long. I, mean, I guess they're still not very good. And it's, like, the classic ones are really bad. Arm Dragon level 3. Let's get the 10. Ojama Green. Level mo Wait! Level modulations like that, too. It feels like there's supposed to be another name in there. That is weird. Okay, Arm Dragon level 5. Final pack. So we've gotten some strange missing part of the name cards out of Chaz. Let's see if Jaden can get anything. We have strategy card seven, burst in a tricks. We got the fusion sage. Elemental hero rampart blaster. That's a really cool card. Sparkman and polymerization. Okay, time to move on to another flamey eternity. This is a fun opening. This is a lot of sets that I do not get to open too often. So let's see if we can pull something epic out of them. The light hex sealed fusion. Good goblin housekeeping. Rescue Cat. Good pull. It just got reprinted, so it's probably down, but it's still pretty valuable. That's a good one. And then Refusion. 
Shadow Slayer, Mega Dog Marin, Release Restraint, Catnipped Kitty, and the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Let's try a first edition Ancient Sanctuary. We have not pulled any, or we've not opened one of these yet. So let's see if we can pull something cool. We're looking for that enemy controller, dark magic attack, burst stream of destruction. Any of the secret rares are really cool. Um, I guess Ancient Sanctuary from the Sky is a cool super rare. This is opening very strangely, but eventually we will get it open. There we go. All right, let's not damage any cards. Micro Ray, very nice. Disc Fighter. I think a Night Assailant's in here as well. Soul Reverse. Oswan Apparition. And the Draining Shield. Desert Sunlight Spirit Caller and Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Jiu Master. Back to Flaming Eternity. We do have probably the most of the... We have, definitely have the most of these. We have 12, so compared to the other ones, we have a lot. Hopefully, we can get an Ultimate Rat of something. All of these have Ultimate Rare Potential except Ancient Sanctuary and Duelist Pack. Let's see if we can do it. Maji Geyer Panda. Oh, no. Look at the corners. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't be damaged. Rescue Cat. And he's damaged on the corner. What a bummer. And then the Big Tusk Mammoth. All right. So that whole pack was absolutely just messed up. Blade Rabbit Hand and Nephthys and Golem Sentry, unfortunately. All right. Let's, let's just get this one opened up and we'll throw it into the other packs that we have. For this special edition, we got the Hero Spirit. That one looks really cool. And then we got our packs as well. Let's start off with a Chaz Princeton pack. Duelist pack Chaz. Come on, Chaz. Give us something good. Chaz it up here. Strategy card number one. We got the X-Head Cannon, Chthonian Alliance, Oja Muscle, V-Tiger Jet, and Y Dragon Head. Next, another Flaming Eternity. Please do not be damaged. Like, please, come on. The cards don't be damaged. Come on. We have the Light Hex Sealed Fusion. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Rescue Cat. Are we three out of like four or five? That's insane. That's a really good card. Re Refusion. Too bad we didn't open these before the reprint. And then... Oh! Ultimate Rare King Dragon! Thank goodness this wasn't the damaged one. This is actually a very nice card. It actually has pretty decent value. Oh my goodness. Ultimate Rare Unlimited. Are these hobby packs or are these... Are they hobby packs or are they just... I can't remember exactly how the flame, like the mid sets worked. But we just pulled a super rare ultimate rare. This is a really good pull. I was wondering if we were ever going to pull anything because they are loose packs. You never know with those. Wow, did we pull something? That's a great pull. Ultimate rare king dragoon, 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 whatever you want to call him. It's going to be hard to live up to that one. That's an incredible pull. I don't know what the unlimited is, but I know the first editions are pretty pricey. I think they're like over $100 for that card. So that is definitely a great pull. Oja King, we got the uh, Chthonia Alliance. The Infernal Incinerator. Okay, Arm Charger and Chthonia Palmer. Imagine if that was the dinged up card. I would have cried. All right, another Ancient Sanctuary. I'm starting to, I'm getting hopeful now because we just pulled a crazy good card. Can we pull something else out of here? That would be awesome. We've got the Nubian Guard, Kazaki. Backfire. This opening has not backfired so far. We've got the three up Lakuta and... The Agent of Creation, Venus. Night Assailant, there's another good common. This is a pretty good opening so far. We've only pulled like one real foil besides the Duelist Packs, which are, eh, I think it was bad. But we've pulled a lot of good commons. We've pulled, obviously, one great foil. Let's see if we can pull the big card out of Chaz. Let's go. Ojama Green. Ojama Yellow. Level Modulation, Arm Dragon Level 5, and Wide Dragon Head. Okay, not this time. Back to our Flaming Eternity. They've been good to us so far. Now I'm like, okay, can we get like another Ultimate Rare? Is that possible? <laughs> another Rescue Cat! We opened a whole box and got like four or five of these. We've gotten that many in this opening. That's crazy. Good Goblin Housekeeping. I don't know what they're worth now. Hopefully, they're still a couple bucks. Hyena. I figured they are. And... Brain Jacker. All right, Threatening War. That's it. Threatening War is a great card. I might take that out too. Poison Fangs and Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Let's go into a Duelist Pack, Jaden Yuki. The first of three Duelist Packs for the Jaden Man. All right, we've got a Rhoda here, <laughs> the uh, Warrior Returning Alive, Rottweiler. Winged Karibo, Cool Spark Braster, and Dark Catapult. Let's try our first Soul of the Duelist First Edition. If we get a Horus, guys, I don't know what I would do. I would, like, literally cry. This feels like it has less cards. Neo Aquan, where we've got the Heavy Slump. Enraged Muka Muka. Dark Factor of Mass Production, and Mind on Air, believe it or not, my mind is on air. Back to Flaming Eternity. Give us another ulti. <laughs> We're getting a little greedy here, but let's do it. We've got the Abare Ushioni. Beast Soul Swap, Element Valkyrie, Refusion. Assault on GXQ, Firebird, Dark Hexy Fusion Kangaroo. We finally did not pull the Rescue Cat. All right, Duelist Pack, Jaden Yuki. Let's go. 
Let's do this. All right, we have enemy controller, transcendent wings, bubble man, elemental hero, rampart blaster, and polymerization. We're pulling a lot of that rampart blaster. Another flaming eternity. Been good to us so far with the commons and then the ulti. Let's see if it can continue to do so. The Abate Ushioni yet again. Element burst, element Valkyrie, B Soul swap, and Shadow Slayer again. Space Mambo, threatening roar again. Dark Hexio fusion and Firebird. Final Jaden pack. Can we pull? I, I hope Card Troopers in here. I'm not really sure. If it is, then hopefully that. Element he, Elemental Hero Avian, not Element. Elemental Hero Burst in Tricks. And Wing Karibo level 10. That's a cool card. We've got the Warrior Returning Alive and Spark Man. Now let's get this Rise of the Rise of the Duelist. This is what I was about to say. Rise of Destiny open and get those packs out. Let's see what promo we get. I think we can get CED out of here. No, Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, TLM is CED. Dark Magician Girl could potentially be in here, which would be pretty big. That's a nice card. All right, here's the moment we find out if it is the Dark Magician Girl. Let's open this up like this. Please be Dark Magician Girl. Please, please, please. Not Vampire Lord or whatever the other, op other three options are. Oh, it was! Yes! Dark Magician Girl, and it looks to be in pretty nice shape overall. Wow, it looks really minty. Okay. This opening is its doing pretty well. That's a good one. Okay, so now we've got three faded Rise of the Duel. How are these faded? That's crazy. I guess they just I mean, print thing. That's wild. Let's start off with one of them. Already got a Dark Magician Girl. I mean, this is, this is sweet. I'm enjoying this opening so much. We've got a Homunculus, the Alchemic Beam. We've got the Mind Hacksworks, Raging Flame Sprite. Spell for the Purification, can't speak. And a Machine Dupe. This ulti is huge. Very cool. Harpy Lady 1 and Bokoichi. This is still a decent rare. Back to our Flaming Eternity packs. We still have so many packs. Like, I didn't even realize how many this is. This is, this is fun. This era is very fun. I enjoy it. We don't get to open it too much. We've got Panda. Benkai. Fulfillment of the Contract. Flame Ruler. I'm struggling to speak today. And for Ceasefire, we get the Catnip Kitty and the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion. Time for Ancient Sanctuary. So far, nothing. Well, we did get Nine Assailant. I guess that's something. But not much. We have not pulled much. We've got Sword of the Soul Eater. Nubian Guard. Backfire. Three on Placuda. Oh, a Needle Burrower. I always pull the Needle Burrower like every time I open this set, but it is a super. We cannot complain about that. The back looks decent. Centering is better than usual when I pull out of the set. It's usually way off. This is actually pretty good. All right, we'll take that. We got Monster Gate, another Night Assailant. It's always after Monster Gate. That's pretty nice. Back to our Flaming Eternity. Flaming Eternity has given us a one-hit wonder. We haven't pulled like any supers or anything. We just pulled one ulti, which is like... Hmm, maybe these were weighed and they missed the ulti or something like that. Abar Abari Ushioni, B Soul Swap. Element Valkyrie. Nope, there's a super rare. Blast Magician. It doesn't look like these were weighed. Blast Magician. This is a really cool super rare. Ultimate rare. This card looks absolutely amazing. I've posted it on Instagram before. You guys can follow me at Ruxon34. Shameless plug. Make sure to check out my Twitter as well. Let's get back to the actual cards. Blast Magician. Very cool. I love that card. Man, Flaming Eternity has been good. Another threatening roar. We've got so many good commons. Time for our second Soul of the Duelist. So far, the first pack did not give us anything worthwhile. Basically, all we can get out of here is like an actual foil. I think level up is an okay common in terms of value. Ninjutsu, Art of Decoy. Hey, Dane. Fusion Weapon. Come on. Horus the Black Thunder. I'll take level four ulti. I'll take six, eight. I'm just going to die. Hammer shot. Okay, that's not an ulti. We don't have to worry about dying. All right, ritual weapon. Very cool. We still have more flaming eternity than everything else. So we're going to go back to this. I think we're getting pretty even now. We still got like 10 packs plus left to open up. So this is going to be sort of a longer old school opening, which is cool. Be soul swap. If you guys have old school packs you want to sell me, hit me up on Instagram or through email, anything like that. Or if you just want me to open them, I would love to do that. It's a great video. Flame ruler and... Big Tusk Mammoth, yet again, he has he has revealed himself again. What is going on there? This is like printed into the card. That's really weird. It looks like you can just brush it off, but you can't. That's strange. Let's go into another Rise of Destiny. Here we go. The Rise of the Destiny. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Manta. Back to square one. Mirage Dragon. A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. All right, and Pitch Dark Warwolf. 
Let's go to a first edition Ancient Sanctuary. We did get a super rare last time, so there is hope for some big pulls. Ooh, Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. I seem to pull this guy a lot too. Back to our favorite set, Flaming Eternity. Oh, another ultimate rare! Behemoth, the king of all animals! All right, I uh, might have stopped the camera like an idiot. So we missed a couple minutes, and we'll finish this back. This is Ancient Sanctuary. I've not revealed the rare. Let's see. We have the Even Nightmare. Okay. So what you guys did miss, unfortunately, was another ultimate rare. And I recorded my face, so maybe I'll show that by itself real quick. I don't know why I didn't record that. Unfortunately, at least it wasn't like a, a Sacred Phoenix. That would have been depressing. But we did pull this. By now, I should not be doing this. Okay, at least I realized it and didn't record half the video. So we can continue. We still have eight packs left, I think. So let's go on to Soul of the Duelist. If I pull a Horus, I'm going to be patting myself on the back big time because I saved myself from not recording that. But that is a little bit unfortunate. I'm kind of sad about it, but let's just keep going. You guys, you can believe me or not that we pull... I mean, it's not the craziest ulti, but it's an ulti. It's really cool. Ritual weapon. Here we go. Element dragon. Mass dragon. Malice to all demise. And... Oh, Master of Oz. Cool card. Heavy slump. Element soldier and ultimate baseball kid. Pretty cool. Okay. Flaming eternity. I'm very sad that we didn't record that now. <laughs> Maybe we'll pull a third ultimate rare. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. We got the armed samurai Benkai. Light exiled fusion. Centrifugal field. Insect knight. And ultimate insect level five. Okay, Golem Sentry, Hand of Nephthys, and the Blade Rabbit. All right, let's go into our final Rise of Destiny. Here we go. The camera is recording. Nothing to worry about this time. Back to square one. We've got the Dark Magician Girl, Zing Zen Hu, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Harpy Girl. That's a decent card. And rare Metamorph. I thought that might be something. Foxfire, Pitch Dark, Pitch Dark. Pitch Black Werewolf. There we go. And Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Rise of Destiny didn't give us much, but the special edition did give us the Dark Magician Girl, which is cool. Our final Flaming Eternity pack. Let's see if we can pull something actually on camera this time. Here we go. Centrifugal Field. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Flame Ruler. Here we go. Whirlwind Prodigy. I'd be surprised. That'd be three ultis. Like, they would have to be from different boxes, probably. Oh, a Feather of the Phoenix is super rare. So we did get four foils out of those 12 packs. So we ended up getting like the better half of the box, I would say, with the, you know, the two ultimate rares. All right, two more packs. We've got Ancient Sanctuary. Then we're going to do our Soul of the Duelist first edition hobby pack. Get the uh, Horus, the Black Flame Dragon is crazy. So let's see if we can get it. First, we want to get the enemy controller here. Piranha Army. Human Wave Tactics. The Atomic Firefly. And... Double costin Delta Attacker. That's all right. We went two for six. That's actually really good for old school packs. We'll take it. And finally, Soul of the Duelist First Edition. Horus the Black Flame Dragon PSA 10 is one of the most expensive cards out there. It's just crazy. Super hard to find as well. So let's see if we can pull it. I am down to pull it. We have Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. Howling Insect. Level up. That's a decent common. Dark Mimic Level 1. And... The Rafflesia Seduction. All right, Horus's Servant and Goblin Calligrapher. Calligrapher. We did get Horus's Servant, so that's something. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe and like the video for more epic content in the future. Hopefully, we will not be making any more crazy recording errors like we did in this video. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.